show you a few tips and hopefully it'll help. So I'm looking to concentrate on Anarchy Acres and Pleasant Park, two areas which are usually really hostile but very worthwhile visiting if you've got the confidence to go in there uh, or at the same time you've got a squad or a duo to look after you. So as you can see there's plenty of people heading to these areas. Uh, I'm going to follow them in uh, but not as an aggressive attacker, more to take the time and show you where to land in these areas. So I'm going to deploy a bit early. You'll see this long building on a sort of 60 mark there, which is called the stables. Now, this building always has guns in it, either in the stables and usually has the odd chest or ammo crate in it. Well worth checking, uh, either straight away or to get in there. Uh, with your squad and hold her out. Another area is the barn house. You see this guy here using a tactic which I love, uh, which is landing on this mez floor here uh, and going straight into the building. So, for the purpose of this video, um, I'm not going to go in there because I'd like to try and show you some other areas. If I get killed, then I'm just going to continue the video uh, speed it up and yeah so Anarchy Acres uh, really worthwhile you've got the farmhouse over here and then that building where my aiming reticle is on is fantastic for loot as well so that's called the stables uh, super obvious why when you get in there the storm isn't going to be my friend here showing you pleasant part but I'm going to go ahead and give it a go anyway so I'm going to run over there uh, and I'll explain where to look when we get there. Whilst we're passing here, uh, another little tip, you don't have to build up to these. You can just hit the floor out and get whatever's up there by jumping and looting. So I've got probably the best part of three minutes to get to Pleasant Park if I get to Pleasant Park um, like I said it's a hostile area so there will be a lot of people heading into that area and then sweeping up uh, from Anarchy Acres heading to Loot Lake which is this area I'm moving that aiming with the right stick and then you can hit R2 to place your marker well worth knowing if you're in a squad and you want a generic area to land uh, we're gonna show your teammates right Okay, so now we're here, I'm going to explain where to go. Hopefully, don't get caught in some combat, which gives me time to explain. So, really big area, lots of buildings, not a lot of natural structures in there, a couple of trees and things, but lots of angles to approach it by. So, we've got some movement over there, just sort of 285, 300 area. I'm going to try and just ignore them for now. Or maybe I'll... How about I go in there? So... Crate here, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? If I don't get a chance to explain it in this one. Hopefully they'll go away. So in Pleasant Park, and in most main areas, if I get a chance to do it, there are these middle areas which usually always have crates in. Here we go, right away we've got two crates, one here, one there. They're usually always in the center of the map in most of the areas. Greasy Grove, there'll be an area. Retail Row, there'll be an area. Salty Springs, always worth if you've got the ability to go into the middle and check these crates out. Now, I'm just being a bit careful that a person didn't see me uh, as I'm explaining. So yeah, if you've got the balls or you've got a squad, well worth going straight into the middle and get some crate. Um, people will go around the edges here and try and move away. Got a football pitch here. Uh, look at that. Again, big open area. Nice little chest inside. So, like I said, well worth coming to these areas and looking for the easy crates in the buildings. You have all know that. There's plenty of stuff inside there. And, yeah, let me carry on playing uh, until I get killed. And then I'll pick up uh, in the next match.
another good tip for beginners uh these bushes here people are getting used to bushes aren't safe you can duck down in them and it's very hard to see people in bushes uh be pretty aware uh, you'll see in a bit that i get uh pinged pretty easily in a bush but be aware that your head isn't sticking out really easy to see so try and immerse your body as much as possible and if you turn really slowly as i am here right stick then you'll notice that i don't pop out if i move quick then i stand up slightly i got this person over here so i'm going to go and engage them just for the crack um, not normally how i play this style of pvp um, but for the purpose of the video i want to get moving so you guys don't get bored If you get a chance as well, we're taking a knee uh, whilst aiming. You'll notice that the aiming reticle gets smaller. Uh, so if you're taking some long shots, then take a knee and uh, it becomes a lot easier to aim. So let's just get in there. Can't be bothered to wait that long. Oh, chasing the storm now, which is always fun. Good time to take advantage of opposition. So the line on the minimap is the most direct line to the safe quarantine area. Um, so again, is worth following. A little bit laggy there. Um, don't know whether that was me or her, but uh, let's pick up that. That's pretty helpful. You just saw witness my awesome shotgun skills. Not a fan of the shotguns. They are very, very, very powerful. I just can't seem to get on with them that well. Uh, you'll notice Nashville from... Oh, there we go. Uh, you'll notice from Nashville, 86 from Wind Factory Gaming is very good with them. Uh, good shot by this guy here. Looks like he, well, you can see he's just in the water on Loot Lake. Quite hard to see people if they're still in the water. But yeah, um, anyway, I'm going to continue to explain some of the other places in the north of the map to go for a couple of easy chests if you're new to the game. So going through that pre-build mechanic, uh, open up your shapes and you can edit them up to uh, anything you want. Uh, and it does save into the game. So my favorite one obviously is normal. Uh, however, with this one, as I always do, build this shape. Absolutely love it. Uh, no particular reason why. It's good for cover, uh, but that's my personal preference. Uh, so I'll save that and wait for the game to begin. As we're so far away from it, it um, might be quite empty, which is nice. It gives me a bit of time to show you where those loot crates are. Uh, so I'll do my best to explain exactly where they are when we're closer. Doesn't look like I've got any friends with me here. So I am going to go in nice and high and see what we've got. A nice shotty. Can hear that crate somewhere. So there's normally one on the second level, uh, which is the one with the main wooden flooring, as you would see in a building, and it's through the wall. You can see it glowing. Let's see what we got here. Bush, which is also nice. And then the second one is usually at the very top uh, i'm going to show you where although it doesn't actually look like it's here for this edit which is always nice so you'll find that it could be up here and there's two ways of doing that so getting up there you do have to build <coughs> so just add up to it and then jump in get what you need uh and then play on so that was quite nice that i had some time to show you that one and then the other one is just north of the 
Wailing Woods around this area. I'll put a market there so it's nice and easy for me to head to. Um, and we're going to head to the ice cream van. And usually there is a crate there, potentially even two. So I'll explain when we get there. That is even quicker than I thought. It was literally right here. So let's see if this tactic works. Some shots coming over there. Oh yeah, there you go, jumping into the house. Someone's already got this one, so you'll notice that there's one on top of the van. There's also one that sometimes spawn either side, either here, or just around the back side here. So well worth always checking this if you drop in in the Wayland Woods area. And uh, yeah, that's it really. I mean, obviously there's lots of little areas. There's these houses around the E2 area. And this side in the middle of E2, where there's basements you can go into. I'm going to go over there and try and show you them. But for a quick land that isn't always that hostile, this area, sort of F2, G2, is a really good area to spawn. As a lot of people will be heading for Tomato Town, Lonely Lodge, or Anarchy Acres. So let's go ahead and see what we can find running around from this G2 area here into the ice cream van, into these housing sort of farm areas here, and then over to Anarchy Acres. So quickly going through there, the Wailing Woods, the G2 area uh, is really good. You get the crate on the second floor behind the wall and then also usually one at the top, although there wasn't in my video. The ice cream van in F2, Anarchy Acres is very good. That's a D2 kind of area. I'd highly recommend going into the farmhouse and then the stables, which is that long building I explained. And then Pleasant Park around B2 really hostile people always go there but lots of corners to hide behind and get into buildings without being seen looting them and having a battle so i hope you enjoyed it i hope it explained i'll put all those grid references in the explanation below again wasn't trying to play the pvp match just using that to show you some of the cool areas to go to if you're a beginner on fortnite and don't really know where to go to i hope it helped please feel free to follow us subscribe uh, and check us out on instagram win factory gaming as we post lots of our gaming events there. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.